was just about to start work and I turned on some religious radio. I, I had to say something. I was just so incredulous. These people say the most insane things. And this guy, he's talking about, I guess this is a commonly held thing in religion, but he's talking about how when you get to heaven, there's going to be all these big thank yous. People are going to run up to you and say thank you because your tithes and offerings, your money that you gave to God is the reason why they heard the gospel and that's why they're in heaven. Just soak that in for a minute. I see that as the most evil thing, one of the most evil things, the way they extort from people money. And I know people think I'm evil for, for calling that out and naming it for what it is because they want to feel good about themselves because they think their money does something. They think God needs their money and they think those people won't be saved until they give the money and God does no saving. Those are not the words that they are saying, but that is the fact that they are believing. They are the saviors of people. These people who give money, these people who extract money from others more, even more so through manipulation and guilt. And they call it all this positive rejoicing and confirmation and affirmation and encouraging you to do this good work of God. And I see it as satanic and evil and accursed. And I'm not even saying he's not saved. I don't know. But he's, he's, it reminds me of the Lord when he said, you, you, you travel land and sea to make one proselyte. And once you have converted him, you, I'm paraphrasing here, but once you've found him, converted him, whatever, you make him twice the son of hell as you are. That man on the radio is making people that are twice the son of hell as he is. You really think that, people really think that they're going to get to heaven and these people are going to run up to them and say, you gave that money, you put it in the offering, and then a tract reached me, or a missionary reached me. I just, I keep pausing because I really want you to think about that. I just can't believe that we as a people, as a group, as a body, as we are supposed to be, can't see how evil and pernicious that is. That's why I'm not explaining it. Because if you don't see it, you're not going to see it. If you think that's what it's going to be like, heaven is going to be about you being thanked and congratulated. You are out of your mind. You are completely out of your mind and out of your God and out of his heaven. So I guess I did say you're not saved. So forgive me on that one. Because I don't send people to hell or heaven. I know that. We'll all be surprised people we see there I imagine but I'm not God I don't have his mercy but that one is so putrid maybe you're listening to it today this person with the biblical name two biblical names first and last awful person awful person the nice gentleman with the the well coiffed hair or whatever who knows how to intonate his voice and the right inflections at the right time and invoke all these emotions it's all swill it's all garbage it's all manipulation it's all about you when you get to heaven and you're going to be so congratulated and thanked for for saving all these people with your money anyway i'm starting to explain it so thanks for listening that's my angry thought for today in jesus name amen